recording. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Absolutely Positively. I am your host, Denny K. And if you're wondering about the hashtag that you see up under here, APWDK, that's what it means. Absolutely Positively with Denny K. <laughs> so excited to be with you here today. It is a wonderful day and I am going to try my best to give you the positivity. I'm going to give you the inspiration, the encouragement, and the motivation. Why? Because that's what we do. Why? Because we created this platform, this forum, especially for you. We realize that it's tough out here right now. It is hard to find just a little sliver, a little sliver of inspiration and encouragement with all the things that we are dealing with as a nation. We are in pandemic times and we know that this is kind of the pandemic blues some of you are in. And so we want to create a space and a place where you can get encouraged, where you can be motivated, where you can be inspired to do your next great thing. And so without further ado, that's what we're gonna do. I don't know, do I want the glasses on or not? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the glasses on this one. I'm trying to get my light right as I always am. I'm always struggling with light, but we're gonna keep moving because you deserve it. You deserve to hear this uh, quote that I have for you today. So if you are new to Absolutely Positively, you know that I am motivated by quotes. I'm not gonna do the glasses. I'm motivated by quotes. And today's quote is a special one, y'all. Today is a special one because we had, our community lost a wonderful icon, um, African-American comedian. But, you know, he, he was so profound. He was so wise. He, he had a lot of things to say. He probably, um, ruffled a lot of feathers. Not probably, he did uh, with the things he said, but everything he said was always so poignant. And so I wanted to commemorate his passing by sharing with you a quote and fleshing it out a bit in hope that you will be encouraged and have the IEM fever afterwards, that you will be inspired, encouraged, and motivated. Without further ado, let's reach into our chart and get out this wonderful quote by Paul Mooney. I didn't say who the quote was by, by the late, great Paul Mooney. And so he had a lot that I needed to say for you, but this one just really caught my eye. And as you can see, I have an African broom here behind me. And Paul Mooney says that I, I'm going to read the whole quote and then I'm going to focus on the part that I want to focus on. All right. I sound like a preacher, right? <laughs> All right. He says, a new broom can sweep the floor, but an old broom knows where the dirt is. People want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. They never do. They want to live in a fantasy. And then when they get caught up in it, they start being in denial because they don't want to be wrong. So I want to focus on, uh, that, I mean, that's so much to dive into. But I want to focus on this, the point that he said, which I thought was very interesting by saying that a new broom can sweep the floor, but an old broom knows where the dirt is. And so to me, that means that a little experience, a little experience goes a long way. It's going to help you not go down the wrong path. It's gonna help you glean what is needed for any situation. It's okay to have new things, not saying that at all, but sometimes we need to rely on the experiences, uh, wisdom from others. Um, our ancestors went through a lot and that's why I have the African broom here, went through a lot. And so it is, or should be upon us to take some of that information 
and craft it in such a way that works for us, but we cannot forget where we come from. We cannot forget whose we are. We cannot forget that it, our, our being, our existence is wrapped up, literally wrapped up uh, 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 from the past or two people that came together to make you. It, it took two people to come together or two organisms to make you. And so literally, we are a rinse and repeat version of some of our experiences that our parents had, that our grandparents had, that our ancestor had, because it's in our DNA. And so it would behoove us to look at those types of things first before jumping into something and thinking we know it all. You know, he talks about how Sometimes we don't even want to hear the truth. And it could be something that someone is trying to tell you based on their experience. And we don't want to do that. We want to live in, we're the only ones that know something. And that's untrue. We are uniquely and wonderfully made. I say this all the time. So yes, you're going to have some insight. You're going to have some things about you that no one else has probably ever thought about or knew about. That's what makes you unique, but it always is wonderful for you to glean some experience from that, from others that know you, where you come from, or that literally have some insight on it or their opinion. But sometimes we go guns a blazing and we skip that part. And so I think this quote, Part of this quote is saying that it's saying a lot actually but this is what i'm gleaning from it that and and that's what i want to use to encourage you that as we as you get encouraged as you get motivated it's great if you would look at past experiences to keep you motivated and going in the right direction so you can be successful this quote also reminds me of my grandmother who never vacuumed a day in her life. Now she had a house, um, she had a lot of, she didn't have carpet, but she had a lot of area rugs um, on her um, floor. And once as, I think as her children, as her grandchildren, we jokingly said, you know, Big Mama, we are going to buy you a vacuum cleaner because, you know, you can vacuum the area rugs. And she wouldn't have it. She said, the broom is all that I need and it will continue to be all that I need. So I don't want a vacuum cleaner. You'll be getting that for yourself, not for me. And one particular time when she was sweeping, she asked me to go get a pan of water out of the kitchen and bring it to her. And she was going to use it to sprinkle on the floor. And I thought, huh? Okay, you don't want a vacuum cleaner. Uh, we feel like a vacuum cleaner could get up this dirt a lot better. And now you're asking for some water? And she literally said pretty much like what this quote is saying is that by experience, I know what a vacuum cleaner does, and I don't like the results, but this old room that has been worn, that has gone through some things, that knows how to find the dirt, that knows how to navigate in corners and spaces, because I've used it for that, attached with this water is going to do a better job than that vacuum would ever do, because vacuum is a full of hot air, and that's literally what she told me. So get that water, sprinkle it over this rug, and watch how I get this cleaner than a vacuum. And I thought, wow, that was like straight wisdom, straight wisdom. Because literally, she said, I have toiled hours and hours doing this job, and I know what's effective. I know what is needed. From the experience, I have worn it into a space and place that it 
will do the job based on those experiences. That broom knows what it needs to do because it's done it over and over and over time and time again. So little girl, while you thinking there's something out there that's better, look at those experiences. Look at the tools that have been worn and, and equipped for this job that you need to do. And stop trying to think that something new is going to do that. And I still remember that from this day. And sometimes when I get the broom out and it's something on the floor uh, or floor or carpet, and I feel like the vacuum's not going to do the job, I take that old nugget <laughs> wisdom, piece of wisdom from my grandmother, and it does it every time. And so I think that we need to understand that we stand on the shoulders of our ancestors. We stand on the shoulders of people who have poured into our lives, who know us, and it's okay to use some of their stuff and craft it and pay homage to them going forth because it's nothing worse than getting inspired, encouraged to do something and you go off half cocked, as they say, and you fall pretty hard and have to hear somebody say, well, if you'd asked me that, I would have told you. Now, some people will try to stunt your growth. Don't get me wrong. Some people will try to stunt you. Some people will try to hold you back from some of these ideas and things that you get encouraged by. And I'm not saying that. I'm saying that pay attention and listen to the wisdom of others and allow that to guide you, to grow you, and nurture you to the point that you need to go. This form that I've created, I talked to somebody about it. This plan that I wanted to do, I talked to someone about it. But this part of wanting to talk and motivate, that's within me. I didn't go out and do something brand new. I reflected on who I was and then got the wisdom for others that said, you know what, this is something you can do. This is something that you can be. This is something that would be great. So I encourage you to, if you're getting that new broom, make sure you don't throw away the old. <laughs> um, I'm also reminded of just this symbol of jumping the broom, which is about sweeping away the past wrongdoing. Um, it's also was taught, uh, thought that, you know, by jumping over the broom, you were leaving some of the old stuff behind um, and getting rid of some of the evil. Now, if you are using buying a new broom because you're trying to get rid of all the old stuff that the other broom and it was negative, that's something different. But still, I think that the symbolism of jumping over a broom, um, leaving the old things behind, the things that are bad, not the things that would be helpful in your marriage. Um, when it comes to that per se, I think that the other part that people miss is that you might be jumping over the wrongdoing and going into the future, but you also want to make sure that you're tapping into that old knowledge, that experienced knowledge of people that came before you, whether it's being married, whether it's a relationship, whether it's buying a house. There's so many things out there that someone has done and been successful for or about. And so it would be advantageous if that's something that we did and then craft that with the things that we come up with and the things that we want to implement. As long as it's a perfect mix and mixture of the past experience, your new ideas, your gumption to do it, that's the recipe of success. And I think that Paul Mooney was very successful because he stood on the shoulders of others he crafted his skills in a way that he could be the type of person that could say something and handle the backlash of people talking about and saying what was on his heart. 
and saying what was on his lips to say, and we loved him for it. Um, I was watching something um, on the news where, you know, mainstream was commemorating him. So that lets you know that even though he was a radical thinker and speaker, that people respected what he did, what he said, but then also how he backed it up and how he flourished um, in the arena that he was in. So, and for that, we are ever so grateful, dear sir. We want you to rest in power and in peace. And that's been our show. So a little, a little, a little, a little expanded, a little deep today. Hope you are still rocking with me. I'm so thankful to have this forum. I hope it was motivating. I hope it was inspiring that you'll go out and do something that is unique to your calling, that you will use that old room because it knows where the where everything is and that you will continue to be who you were called to be. And just remember, whatever you do, wherever you go, whatever you say, make sure that you do it in that power, absolutely and positively. That has been our show. Thank you guys so much. A little somber of sorts, but I still hope that it was encouraging for you. So we lost a great one. And I am always uh, about commemorating life and in death. And so I hope that you will continue to rock with us and stay tuned for next week and what I'm about to bring to you. Thank you so much. Take care. Absolutely Positively with Denny K. Don't forget to subscribe to Mute Mogul Media. Until next time, guys, take care. Bye-bye.